Planet Dolan. Have you ever bought oxygen in a can? Fell for the bank gift card scam? Here are 15 of the dumbest ripoffs we're still buying for some reason. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Hotel Room Movies Tens of millions of people stay in hotel rooms every night. A lot of these people buy ludicrously expensive films just because of the convenience of the TV. In a world where Netflix and YouTube exist, you need to… maybe… not do that. Get Chromecast, or stream on your laptop, or read a book. Books don't cost $20 a read. Number 14. ATM Fees All of us at some point have been so lazy that we'd rather take the 2 or $3 hit rather than walk down the street to find our own bank's ATM. But you can just hit up a supermarket and take money out with no fee. You can do electronic transfers. You can move your body slightly, save money, and get exercise. We recommend not being lazy. Number 13. Pre-packaged meats. We see here another example of not walking a few paces. If you visit the deli in a supermarket, they'll provide fresh meat and cheese of your choosing. Check out the package section though, and you'll be looking at the same products, only 20 to 60% more expensive. Support your deli. They need you. Number 12. Oxygen in a can. Now, these aren't the same as oxygen tanks, which are mainly used medically for people with lung problems. Nope, these are just cans with oxygen that you whiff. And they're scented. Usually, these things are aimed at tourists who don't want to breathe that nasty, polluted air, and instead want to breathe nice mountain air from some exotic country. Pro tip, Earth has lots of air. Relax, it's safe. Number 11. Electronic cables. Buying the trusted brands for cables is dumb. Cables have literally one function. They send a signal through, or they don't. If they don't, it means they're broken. When you buy a TV and they throw in a brand name cable that only costs $49.99, it means they want all your money. Just look for the cable online. Buy a cheap one from the market. Number 10. Travel insurance. Right off the bat, you might think this shouldn't be on the list. Insurance can be genuinely useful. True. But more often than not, it's redundant. Did you know a lot of home insurance also covers luggage? Did you know that going through a random insurance agent comes with a hefty fee? Just talk to your existing insurer. There's no point hunting down a travel insurance agent. Number 9. New Cars Of course, you should be very wary buying an old bomb, but there are plenty of used cars that are basically new and a fraction of the price. This is because cars go way down in value the instant you drive them out of dealers. You should be looking in used car lots. Just find one with low mileage and get it checked for obvious issues or get a bike. They're good too. Number 8. Oil changes. You honestly don't need that signature full synthetic oil. You're not a race car. If you've been buying anything but the most basic oil, you're getting ripped off. In fact, even when you're paying for the high quality stuff, a lot of places will just use the basic oil anyway and not tell you. Also, unless the air filter in your car is black with dust, don't let them replace it. It's a scam. Number 7. Travel size toiletries. These ones are bewildering. The only reason you buy them is because of travel restrictions for flights, but they're between 5 to 10 times more expensive than full-size bottles. It's recommended to either wait until you arrive at your destination and buy cheap alternatives, or purchase travel size and refill it yourself if necessary. Number 6. Cable TV Back in the day, getting cable TV was a luxury. And while it still is, it's extremely hard to compete with on-demand services like Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, and the rest. It wouldn't be so bad if cable wasn't ludicrously expensive for a lot of channels you won't even end up using. Good if you want your always-on TV fix, bad if you like having money. Number 5. Weddings Don't fall into the trap of buying anything with the word wedding in front of it. There are some things you can't avoid, like a wedding dress. But you don't need a wedding hotel room or wedding earrings. The instant that merchants hear that word, the cost of everything immediately shoots up by 50%. It's your special day, but when it comes to your wallet, use some subtlety. Number 4. Bank Gift Cards This is a neat idea for a gift, until you realize it's actually a burden and you've done a horrible thing. You'll buy a $100 card, and they'll charge you a few bucks just to buy it. Then, some banks actually charge you a monthly fee just to have it exist. Not to mention, a lot of the time, if you go to buy something and the price doesn't actually match the amount on the card, 
they'll refuse to use the remaining few bucks. Just give the person cash. Number three, insurance for pets. Insurance may often mean the difference between life and death for your pet if you're on a budget, but the reimbursement is so laughably inconsistent, you might as well just keep the insurance money. Over the course of the pet's life, you'll spend thousands on insurance and maybe never use it. Surgery would have cost that amount anyway. Then you might get a refund of between 20 to 90% of what you paid, assuming the accident wasn't on the exemption list. That's a crazy dice roll. You might as well put that money on a bank gift card and pay fees. Number two, fast food, chips, and drinks. Most of the revenue generated by fast food comes from these. McDonald's sized their french fries to absolutely perfect mathematical sizes purely to fit more in a box for shipping. They buy these boxes at fractions of a dollar, then mark up massively for stores. Drinks are the same. They cost all of five cents to produce, and then they sell you to them in a meal. Aren't they fantastic? Number one, Meyer. In Australia, this is the swankiest store you can find. Perfume and cologne is often sold at 30 to 40% higher here than anywhere else in the country. And people still buy it in droves. It's commonplace for products to be marked up in Australia purely because of international shipping and taxes. And luckily, Meyer is always willing to price match. Here's a final note, I just want to interject with, hey guys, thanks for telling what's up. So Gooby and I were walking through Maya, and we picked up some nice shorts, and I was like, oh, these look really good, and they cost 250 bucks! My brain nearly imploded right there and then! I love the store, it's my favorite! Always good for a laugh! That's all for now, guys, I'll catch you next week.